Hi and welcome to another lab. Uh, today we are again going to use DAM Vulnerable Web Application. Uh, we'll be covering injection labs. So for that we'll check command injection and SQL injection. As you know, we uh, tried to set up uh, DAM Vulnerable Web Application on our Windows 11 virtual machine. And uh, we used Burp Suite last time in order to check the vulnerabilities in the web applications. Today, um, our lab is related to command injection and SQL injection, but before we'll proceed, we'll have to check if our environment is ready. So we are going to use again Windows 10 or 11, where we'll have XAMPP installed and configured. Our second operating system would be Kali Linux, which is already installed. So in order to check that if both computers can see each other, we'll have to ping it by going to the terminal and we'll enter the IP address of our Windows 11 machine. As you can see, we are not receiving any response on that. So for that, we'll have to go back to our Windows 11 and then we'll have to check the firewall on Windows 11 if it's on or off because if you're not receiving ping it means that your firewall is enabled on Windows 11 so there you go as you can see that firewall is enabled on Windows 11 we'll turn it off and then we'll try to go to our Kali machine and as you can see we are getting a response over here Second step is that once we are able to ping, we will start our Apache server and MySQL server on your Windows 11. Make sure that both of them are running. Then in order to make sure that the application is running, you'll click on admin and try to go to the dashboard. That's your default page for your Apache server. We'll change it to DVWA and press enter. Um, if you are working on it, it's logged in, it's fine. Otherwise, you can enter the username and password, username as admin, and the password would be password, which is the default username and password. Once you're logged in, you can go to DVWA security and we'll change it to low and then we'll submit. So that's it. As far as the settings which were required on our Windows 11, now we'll go to our Kali box and we'll continue the rest of the lab over there. So since we have checked it, we'll have to check if we can load the Adam Vulnerable Web application which is hosted on Windows 11, if we can run it from our Kali box. So we'll try to enter the IP address of our Windows 11 virtual machine and press enter. As you can see, we can log in and we can see our Windows 11 machine where we are hosting DAM Vulnerable Web application. We'll click login and again the same thing, we'll go to DVWS security, we can check that it's on low and now we are going to start the command injection. Now if you're interested in brute force, we tried it last time using burp suite, you can check it on our channel, but today we are going to talk about command injection. Now once you'll be over here in the command injection, you'll have to keep an eye on these two links over here. These are really good resources. If you are interested that how it works and what we'll be doing, um, you can read the instructions over here that how it performs actually. And the other option is that if you want to get any help on this one, you can click on view help and it is telling that um, how can you use certain commands on this interface. Now, um, just to check it, if I'll enter 127.0.0.1, it's just like if you're pinging the same computer, so it would ping it and it would show you the response of it that um, this is the response time of your computer, how many packets were received and how many packets were lost. Now the second now the second command that we are going to check is we want to get the host name of our uh, Windows 11 machine which is uh, on which we are running this damn vulnerable web application. I'll type in the IP address and end host name so it would tell me the host name of our Windows 11 virtual machine. Now I would like to get the uh, directory details where my application is hosted on my remote computer. So I'll type in the IP address and, and, and if I'll type DIR, it would show me the directory details where the application is hosted. As you can see, it's showing me the directory where the application is hosted on our Windows 11 virtual machine. 
Now likewise, if I would like to get the MAC address details of our remote virtual machine, I'll just type and, and, and get MAC in front of the IP address and as you can see, it is showing me the MAC address of our Windows 11 machine. Similarly, if I want to get the system details of uh, a remote machine, I'll type system info followed by the IP address and it would give me all details of my remote machine and you can see it's a test virtual machine Windows 11 professional standalone workstation processor details um, BIOS version so all those related details are revealed just by passing in some parameters in the IP address field now let's try another command where I would like to see the details about my computer. So I'll type who am I followed by the IP address. So it would show me um, that my test virtual machine and the username with which I am logged in at the moment. Now there's another command if I'll type in 192.168.132 and then, then I'll want to display a message echo you have been hacked and uh, if i'll pass the details you can see that it would show the message to the other user that you have been hacked over here so now i'm i'm trying to concatenate the commands all together as you can see i have typed in the ip address as 132 and and host name and then i am writing who am i so if i'm trying to pass those two parameters together i can get both of them in a single response as it's showing that it's a test virtual machine and then it gave me the details of the account with which I'm logged in at the moment. Likewise, if I'm passing it parameter talking about the host name, who am I and system info. So all those details would be together, press submit and you will be able to see the details about the uh, three parameters and it's a detailed info with all the details which were required. So that was about uh, our command injections. Now let's try to start SQL injection over here. Now um, we'll be trying SQL injection and then we'll try to decrypt the password as well. I'll show you how can we actually convert the hashes into actual passwords. So just like we did earlier, you have a view source over here. So if you want to get the details about different commands and stuff like that, you can find that information. Further, if you want to look into the help of it, uh, you can find the different uh, security levels of it and how can we deal with it. So this is our SQL injection. And uh, first of all, what we would try to uh, do over here is we'll just press enter over one over here and press enter and see it is telling that the ID number one um, and the first name is admin and the surname is admin for this user. Now, if you would like to pass the uh, authentication um, on the uh, form or anything like that, you'll type in um, or one is equal to one and then hash and just press enter. It would show you all users and their first and surname and their ID, which are listed on our database. Now, in order to exploit the um, database version, uh, the vulnerability of the system where it would reveal the details about the uh, database itself. Um, so we are going to pass in a command where I'm typing in or um, zero is equal to zero. Then I'm using a union statement over here and then select null or the version of it. And then I'm closing it. And if I will press submit over here, it is telling me the user's first name and surname followed by the details about the database and rest of the uh, details related to version and stuff. Likewise, if we would like to get the details about user, we will pass in the same command, but this time we are going to change uh, the version to user over here. And if I'll press enter, it would tell me details of all the users, their first name and surname. And then it would even tell you the account name through which this account is logged in and the database is there on PHP my admin. Now I'm going to pass in a very lengthy command in this one where I am trying to retrieve the first name, last name, 
password and rest of the details from the users table as you can see i'm saying one is equal to one union then i'm using select statement and i'm saying that concatenate the first name and the last name of the user and then show me the password as well from the uh, table called users so if i'll press submit over here it's going to show me the first name and surname of the user admin and then it is giving me this hash so it's not showing me the actual password but it's showing me the hash of it and i'll show you how can we convert these hashes into an actual password so this is the detail for all the users now if you want to crack these hashes into passwords you'll open another tab and you'll type in crackstation.net and then what we are going to do is, for example, let's try to see the password of Bob Smith. So we'll copy the hash from here and uh, then we'll paste it and we'll just click on it and click hash. So as you can see, the password is password and the type was used as MD5. Uh, so that was the um, hashing function which was used. Now let's try to do it for Pablo and if we are going to paste it over here and uh, we'll solve the capture again and see the password is shown as let me in. So that's how we get the details using the SQL injection if the system is not secure enough, we can exploit the weaknesses of web applications and the users can get the details about their passwords and the rest of the things. That's why it's really important to pay attention to the application development, making sure that each and everything is um, defined and uh, uh, you are properly taking care of the security of the systems itself. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.